What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Fireball, and this is my wife, Kathy. Hello. Hello. Uh, we we uh, get to spend our days doing a lot of creatively interesting stuff, but Kathy is known, uh, very well known for creating uh, incredible mascots for the last how many years? 40. 40 years. And her main client uh, has been Nintendo, and you built mascots for more than 30 commercials. And most of the characters, almost all of the Nintendo characters. Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. uh, in multitude. So multiple Super Marios, multiple everything. So I know a lot of you guys are Nintendo fans, and people, uh, because of uh, Corona and all this stuff, people are, are playing a lot of video games. We thought we'd show you something that you won't get to see anywhere else, and that is that online you'll get to see the commercials that they shot, and you get to play the video games, but you would never get a chance to get behind the scenes of what we did for the commercials and how you built those costumes which is pretty cool. So yeah, it is cool. To our left, we have a computer screen that shows all the photos from the shoot of the commercial. Today, we're focusing on Super Smash Brothers, the very first commercial we did. But we're gonna talk about that today and, and get some stories as to, uh, you know, just 10 minutes or so, get some stories as to kind of what we went through at yeah. that time. And that particular commercial was an award-winning commercial. That's right, that's right. And it was- um, Mark Story right, Productions. It was uh, uh, directed by Mar Mark Story. Uh, it was scheduled to be a one-day shoot, but ended up being a half-day shoot. Yeah. With, he, with five characters, right? Four or five? Uh, with four. Oh. Four characters. And uh, that included Donkey Kong, Super Mario, Pikachu, uh, Yoshi. Yoshi. Right, yeah. so those four. And then the three of us, including Bob, um, who came on set with us. And we shot this at Disney Ranch, out in Disney All Ranch. All right. Uh, and uh, where they got to beat the crap out of each other. So uh, what you're gonna see on some of these photos is we're gonna go through the build of each character and then we're gonna go to the, um, uh, to the actual set of, of filming, okay? So the first character, let's talk about Pikachu a little bit. Tell me what you went through in building Pikachu. Well, the first thing you've gotta do is determine the size. And since Pikachu in the cartoon is so small, we had to build it for a little person. And her name I think was Cindy uh, Sarkin, something like yeah, that. she was uh, an actress, little person actress. Right, and she was an absolute she badass. She was probably three foot something. Right, and so I've got to get all of her measurements. Then we draw up a drawing, the size of the character. Mm -hmm. That's how we start uh, the process. There she is. There she is. C uh, Cindy Sorensen. That was her name. Ah, yeah. We start the process by I, you know, measure and I, I take soft upholstery foam and I start to mock it up see what works, what doesn't work. I have Cindy come over, try it on. She tells me this doesn't work or this, you know, where's my vision? Mm -hmm. And then I go to the, the finish foam. And the finish foam is what, you know, I glue together and then I cover it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now most of the costumes are built the same. So they're, they're soft foam, uh, unless it's like Super Mario's head, which is sculpted, sculpted and then cast out of- uh, um, It's a, a vacuum form. Styrene. Uh, it's vacuum formed, so it's sculpted, it's cut in half, it's vacuum formed over the top and styrene. Those two pieces are put back together again, uh, the seam is filled, and then it's covered. Right. It's yeah. a pretty elaborate um, build, so they pay good money for it, but it, you can see why, because they're just uh, turned out adorable. Yeah. So now let's look at Super Mario. So this is his outfit that uh, our seamstress Nina uh, created uh, based on our specs. And, and with these characters, it was kind of tough because Nintendo had very, very specific guidelines, very not only as specific. color and things like that, but we were turning characters that were this small into ergonomically human beings. Right, right. Now I wore uh, Super Mario in all the commercials. It kind of was an accident at first. I said, would you try this on for yeah. me? And he's like, oh, okay. And then I realized, because he's such a good uh, person within the costume, he's not gonna complain or anything, I realized, hey, you should wear this on set for me. Yeah. I'm gonna look good. Yeah, and, and we just proposed that idea, so I became Super Mario. Uh, Bob, our sculptor, became Luigi. Yep, yep. You were Princess Peach in a couple Once, of spots. Yep. I did not like yep. that. <laughs> I'd rather build than wear it. And we did travel all over the world to shoot these. So this yes. particular first one, this is Super Smash Brothers. We shot this at the Disney Ranch. Uh, it was a half day shoot simply because Mark's story had multiple cameras filming at the same time. 
and we got done by lunch. And now we, we didn't really know too much about Nintendo at the time because this was our first spot. Right. And we didn't think it would turn into what it did. Yeah. Uh, over the next like uh, decade or more. 15 years. Yeah, 15, yeah, almost 15 years. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Yoshi. So Yoshi, who is a big tub, and uh, he's all soft foam. Well, you all know he's a dinosaur, of course. Yeah. But it starts with soft, with a upholstery foam. Right. Then it goes into what is called Scott foam here, and Bob's wearing that Scott foam <laughs> outfit. It's pretty hysterical. And what I did so that there wouldn't be a lot of structure inside is I used two-inch foam. So it was kind of tough to put together, but then it just holds its shape. Right. If he falls down, he's not going to get hurt. Yeah. I, I really concern myself with that type of thing. Uh, good vision, good uh, breathability, and then you could easily trip because in the case of this particular commercial, we were out in a field. Mm -hmm. So you could trip in a hole, a rock. And they were kind of hoping for that, too, because yeah, the, the, the whole point of the commercial, which you guys have seen, is that they were kicking the crap out of each other. Yeah. And uh, they were trying to find unique ways to attach um, Pikachu to the back of Donkey Kong and have him spin around and fly yeah. through the air. And a lot of it was just made up uh, as we went oh, along. Oh, yeah, because Mark's story was like, let's get it done, let's get it done fast. Yeah, he had someplace so to go. So he... Um, you can't put a person in Pikachu and then put the person on Donkey Kong's back. Right. So I had to take Cindy out of the costume, pin the costume to the back of Donkey Kong as fast as I could because Mark was like, let's shoot it, let's shoot it. So we're just pinning and pinning as fast. And Donkey Kong starts spinning around. Now keep in mind, Donkey Kong is almost nine feet tall. That's right. He's he huge. Is. Yeah. And all of a sudden, some of my pins start popping. But of course, you can't see that on the uh, film. But that made it look so funny because, like, Pikachu's like, whoa. Yeah. Uh, so here's some shots of Donkey Kong and his feet and putting all that together. The pink foam is the, the foam that uh, you, you guys used at the time, otherwise known as uh, green foam, even though it's yeah, pink. Yes, we call it green foam, but yeah. it's actually pink. But it's the standard foam that they use you in the film it. industry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, so all the heads were created. This was the first pass. They got refined as the years went on, but this was the first pass for these characters. And then of course, on the day of the shoot, it was cloudy, a little bit overcast, uh, which is good for filming because the light is really good and strong. And, Not to uh, mention you weren't boiling in the costume. So uh, we just, you know, the commercial starts out where we're all dancing together. Everybody's happy uh, as can be until uh, Super Mario, myself, I end up kicking, I think, one of the characters in the knee, knocking him over, and it turns into a balls out uh, <laughs> uh, fist fight with hammers and all kinds of weapons that didn't show up. Now, the other thing about this is that... Oh, we did make um, a couple. We made a giant hammer. Yeah, we made a giant hammer. Uh, but a lot, a lot of the stuff it didn't end up in the in the the final right. commercial, which is only 30 seconds. So you're filming for an uh, half a day for a 30 second spot. So we did a lot of stuff that morning, and all the sunflowers are all fake, all the rocks and the trees and everything is fake. But there was um, a funny a funny point where Cindy, being the smallest, and she doesn't have any legs. This costume's legs are like super short. Yeah. So she's trying to keep up with everybody running in the background she does trip and falls down but she doesn't want to ruin the shot so she just keeps wiggling and so it, it was a pretty high intensity uh energy day they did a great job uh, job filming you know how uh the set always has food and all that type of thing right next to us the food person had an oven and made chocolate chip cookies fresh mm -hmm. right next to us yeah i think we had those for happy. lunch before even oh yeah had lunch yeah, yeah. Uh, we started doing commercials in Canada. Uh, we went to Canada probably 15 times. Uh, we went to the um, the Virgin Islands. We yep. shot in Athens, uh, a lot of different places. So yeah. we're gonna get to some of those videos. But this is the first pass. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of flavor for Super Smash Brothers on how it was created, how it was filmed. It was a pretty exciting shoot. And but Nintendo just turned out to be the greatest people. Mm -hmm. And the ad agency was Leo Burnett. Right. Yeah, so Who those guys were great. also were great. Yeah. Uh, what's, your, what's your fondest memory of the day? The cookies. The cookies. Are you... <laughs> thing. It just was a really, really good job with such high energy and really good people from Leo Burnett to Nintendo to our crew. Yeah. As well as the entire crew that was working for Mark's story. Right. He was a great guy. Yeah. That's all we have for you guys today. Uh, this is our first foray into uh, giving you guys some behind the scenes um, of how all the Nintendo commercials were shot. Uh, we generally keep in these videos a little bit short so you guys can enjoy them. We have a lot more coming, uh, everything from Animal Crossing to um, 
uh, uh, Princess Peach to all kinds of other characters yeah. that we did. And we'll keep them coming once a week at least. Check out some of our coloring books. Our company is Fireball Publishing as well as KCL Productions, which does the mascots. But Fireball Publishing, we do um, automotive and sea life coloring books. You can get them on Amazon. You can just type in uh, Fireball Coloring Books and you'll get those. Uh, as well as uh, Fireball Malibu Vlog, which is our main vlog that has 980 plus episodes. And sorry we went beyond 10 minutes. I we forgot to put the timer on. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and uh, hit the like button as well as the notification bell uh, on the side if you want to see more of these, you want to stay in touch with, uh, with some of the stuff that we do. So uh, uh, the, the Nintendo videos will go up every Thursday and we'll just keep the ball rolling. We both do what we love. I, I'm a three-dimensional person from sculpture to sewing to building and you are a uh, illustrator, mm -hmm. production illustrator for film, mm -hmm. so he's drawn every possible thing. We do a lot of stuff, so it's so important do what you love. Yeah, to follow through with your, your creative uh, passions. Uh, we do, and we have lived uh, a, a wonderful life, traveled a lot of places, done a lot of really, really cool things, and you guys can too. Just follow your heart and do what you love, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.